Hi everyone, I've plonked the kids in front of the TV so I can record this quick video today. Please don't tell Lara. I want to talk about Bridge, just a little bit about the workflow, uh, viewing, rating and culling, and also a bit about batch processing your raw files. So I would start by choosing the folder of images I want to edit. In the previous video I talked about how I get the images onto my hard drive from the card. So I'm going to browse this folder in Bridge and when you first load Bridge, first time you look at it, it'll probably look something like this. I think the Essentials viewing mode is the default one. Now I prefer the film strip mode as my starting point. I'll choose film strip up here at the top. Um, and that's a funny size, that should be down like that. Um, and it will give you a big preview pane here and then all your little images in a strip across the bottom. As a matter of fact, I've modified the film strip setup and saved it as my own workspace, which I've called Demo up here, uh, because I like to have both filter and metadata um, tabs over here. I won't talk about the setup too much. There's only one other thing to mention, that is uh, in the edit menu and preferences. Um, I always go to the labels section and I uncheck require the control key to apply labels and ratings. I like to be able to give my images five stars simply by pressing the five key. If you know what I mean, I'll talk about that a bit more in a moment. Okay, so here I am, I'm looking at this folder of images here, and I want to go through and just uh, find the ones that uh, are the best, the ones that are worth editing. So I can simply um, use my arrow key to scroll through here. Now these first three photos of Emily are a bit goofy. The next three are kind of cute. That's the Emily I know. So what I'm going to do is just select all three of them. I just hit shift to select all. And then I can just click on her eye in each one. That brings up the loop. And I can examine. You won't be able to see this on a crappy Facebook video, but I can tell you that this third one has it has the best focus. I can see the eyebrows there. So I'm just going to right click there and choose five stars for that one. And you can see it's got a five star rating below it in the film strip down there. Now I'm looking at the next ones again. That's those last three are a little bit goofy. These two are nice. Again I'll just shift select them both, click on each eye and uh, you might be able to make it out this time. The eyelashes are a bit fuzzy here, but they're beautiful and sharp here, so I'd right click there and ch choose that as my five star. And then what have we got here now? A couple of photos, roughly the same. I'll just select them and look at both, and as it happens, focus is great, so I can more or less pick whichever one I, I like, or I could edit both. Um, I might just star that one. And then we've got these last couple. Oh, I like that one, that cheeky little grin. I just click on her eye. I'm just left clicking here. Check the focus. Yep, it's great. Um, so I could right click here as I've been doing, or I could just uh, press my 5 key, and that gives it 5 stars there. Then it's very easy to go to my filter tab. I've got my ratings section here. I can click on the 5 stars, and then it just shows me the four that I've rated at five stars, and I can go and hit it, and go ahead and edit those. So that's um, some simple rating and culling. It takes more time if you've got a bigger folder of images, of course. Um, now I might just go back out of there and have a look in this folder, so I can talk about batch editing raw files here. Now there are a couple of ways to do it. The first way I guess is to select one and then I'm just going to press Control A to select all of them, Control R to open them all in RAW. And then they're all here in that column down the left side of Camera RAW. I can hit Select All and I can adjust the exposure and because they're all selected, the exposure gets changed on all of them. So that's one way to do it. Uh, I'm just going to cancel out of that. The other way to do it is to simply open the first image, or one of them, I'll just select that, go Control R, 
and you know make my adjustments there a bit more exposure noise blah 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 and press the done key and then I can just select all of the others right click choose develop settings and previous conversion and in a moment they all come through and lighten up with that bit of exposure adjustment I made um, and of course it doesn't have to be all of them you could just do do them in sets within the folder if the exposure varies and so on I know this has been really fast it was never my intention for this video to be uh, you know the complete guide to bridge in fact what I would like it to do is to invoke some hearty discussion about how other people use bridge how they might do things differently better for their situation so anyway I hope this has given you a bit of an idea of what bridge can do and uh, please post questions as you need them.